Hey, it's bitches. I'm Jesse Garcia. Welcome back to a new video here in my YouTube channel. Um, I have my monitor here, so if I'm looking this way, it's because of the monitor. I don't know about the lighting, but whatever. So this is try number two, and if I'm looking this way, it's because I have my monitor here. Okay, so, hey, sits bitches. So this is my second try. Hopefully nothing gets in the way, and by that I mean my boyfriend in the kitchen cooking, which was fine, I didn't mind, but I've been trying to make this video for a long time. So today we're just gonna be doing a makeup video. We're just gonna be talking about makeup and stuff not really much you know, to talk about right now in my life there's stuff to, to talk about but as of right now there's stuff I cannot talk to you about just not yet so first I'm going with um, Elmer's um, glue this is the washable one um, because um, as you can see right here these brow hairs they're fine but they just keep going down so I'm just gonna try to like brush them up. Really? They start cleaning right now. <sighs> There's always something. So there's other like um things for you to like lay down your brow, like what um I know Patrick Ta has one, um, Anastasia just came out with one, uh, but do I have the money for that? No. So we're gonna keep going with this, okay? And this is just to like help my brows kind of like go the way they should be going. Wow, that is loud. If it's too loud and you guys don't hear me, I will probably um, have captions or something, but let's keep going. So we're gonna go ahead and do eyeshadow. So for that, we're gonna try the... Baby, come on, go, go. I know you're scared of that baby, but it's okay. It's my dog on my leg. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> I'm doing makeup with you. Uh, this is the Shake Primer from Kat Von D. I haven't tried it, so we're gonna try it together. And we'll see how this goes. I heard a lot of like things about it, but mostly good things, so you know, I'm not too worried. Oh, yeah, this is looking like shit. I'm gonna have to start again. Okay, third try because that um, Kat Von D base, it was too tricky, it felt really oily, I had to look at a tutorial or something so I can do it right. It could be me that I was doing it wrong or it could be that the product isn't good, but I want to give it another opportunity, but I will do that another time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is like my personal favorite. And I'm gonna focus right on the crease and above, not so much on the lid in case I do a cut crease. Okay, there you go. And there's a white base. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and change colors just because now I feel scared. Mm. This is a
can barely even see it. We know the, uh, what the, the English, what is it? We know the, <laughs> with another brush, we're gonna go in with Vivid Mood. And we're gonna apply this right on the crease. Yeah, I'm liking this like way much already. So I'm just applying this purple and just putting it in place. Uh, I'm not blending too much. Like I'm trying to make it look like rounded. So right here is where I might blend a little more. Just to make sure it looks a little more rounded and not just like a line like this way, but more like, you know, like a curve. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back to the first brush I use, not this one, this one for the light purple and I'm just gonna blend the light purple and this purple kind of like together, you know, just making tiny circular motions. Okay, you know, circle of motions and blend. from here I can see how one of my eyes is more blended than the other one. This is better blended than this side. So we're just gonna go back and with a light purple tap the edges off and Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Um, ah, stupid. So, with Blood Queen, we're gonna go right uh, on the inside of what we were just doing. So, let me show you. So, with Blood Queen, we're gonna go. Right here, I'm just tapping very lightly. I'm not trying to spread this purple way too much, like, no. So right there from the corner of the eye. And you can like get closer to the crease if you want to, but just don't blend it into the crease too much, you know? talking to myself in the mirror in the mirror Ugh. girl I can't even and this one I'm just kind of like dragging and very lightly not doing circular motions but more like elbow I'm dragging and then I kind of like pull down dragging pull down dragging pull down or dragging pull up dragging pull up dragging pull up depending which side are you trying to take it out to Right now, from here, where I'm going in the lead, I'm trying to take it up a little bit into the crease, just a little bit.
And we know I'm just building up by uh, adding more of that purple eyeshadow and dragging it inside. Because I feel like I'm gonna probably go with a halo eye looking thing. This is taking a little longer than I thought because I'm talking with a photographer. So please excuse that. Oh, probably. Oh, shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Blood Queen a little bit closer to the, to the center just because I'm gonna add a darker color then. Dungeon right in the corners. I'm going with a smaller brush. And I'm almost used to tapping this without blending it in too much. And now with the back, with the darker brush that we were using for um, Blood Queen, we're just gonna... Uh brush I don't know what you will call it it's a round brush but not round it's more like a oval brush okay with this I'm gonna go in with a bit mood and I'm gonna tap this right in the middle and instead of blending like this I just tap by tapping you can also blend And 
and then if you, you tap in too much or you have too much product like right here that the dark purple is almost gone you go back and you tap this back this way Okay. Now we're gonna go in with shimmers. So right in the middle, I'm gonna go in with red jewel. I'm just gonna use my finger. like this and we're gonna go with pink magic and pink magic pink magic will be next to this so right here on the sides we're just barely even going to tap this in this is just to sort of like add a little bit of transition you know what it's not working I'm gonna use my finger again Okay. And I'm just tapping, just to kind of blend them together. Okay, let's do brows. So for brows. Well, for brows, I'm gonna use the Vibella Brow Pomade in medium brown. I use this mainly to kind of like shape my brows. So, with a uh, Morphe, uh, it's a angle brush on one side and a spoolie on the other, and it's from Morphe. Did I say that? I hope I said that. Okay, so with this, I just like to shape. I like to try to do this process fast because my brows never look like good or the same or you know equal on both sides equal 
They never look the same on both sides. What the fuck? I swear. I need coffee, but I don't even drink that much coffee anymore. But I feel like I need coffee. Okay. I just like to do that just to shape the the under part of the brows. And then okay. I like to go with powder. This is called profusion. And I like to go with the before the darkest shade, so this shade right here, and sometimes this one, but unless I'm doing really heavy makeup, I don't think I'm going too heavy today. So I just tap it and I feel. So, this is my favorite moisturizer that, like right now, is the Elf Water Droplet balm it's a hydrated balm like it's like a balm and you like start to melting on your skin it's like really good my beard's showing through but i'm not going to like cor color correct it just because eh. Um, for primer, we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Okay, so... My beauty blender and we're gonna go in with a new foundation that i'm just early trying this is a super stay full coverage foundation from maybelline i have tried the fit me so i think it should be the same shade if it's not then i'm fucked because i said it was going to be the same shade what the fuck is this oh oh i said it was a twist off i was like twisting it off but it's actually, it's actually a pool. Huh? If it's not the same shade, that's the, um, matte and poreless, then I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, it is the same shade, never mind. We're good. I put the foundation in the back of my head. I used to go straight on my face, and I noticed how, I hate how that looks, so I stopped. It was like you, uh, I want to say to use too much product right on your face. Uh, and I like doing it like this more now. With my beauty treats, um, concealer, corrector, whatever. I'm gonna go in with this red and I'm gonna apply that right there. You see the theme marks, right? And then for the red pimples, I'm gonna go in with this green one. I'm going with my air spoon loose translucent powder. J 
noche no llores, no frente a mí. I rewatched Endgame and Infinity War last night. Oh, you also watched, what's the other one? Doctor Strange. I've been watching all of the Marvel movies by myself. It says it's full coverage, but I feel like it's like medium coverage. It doesn't feel like too much coverage. Like I color correct it and I can still see the pimples. You know, with one that I can really tell that is full coverage is the Fluidity Foundation from Morphe. That is a full coverage foundation. We're going in with Bivella Cosmetics. And dipping the tip of my beauty blender in the concealer. That way it mixes just a little bit with my foundation, what's left over in the beauty blender. And then I go in. This is only a couple shades lighter than me, which is like what I would say you should go for. I don't think you should be applying a concealer that is like five or six shades lighter. You don't need that. Even people who need that don't, that's like, there's other ways to achieve a good look without going crazy with that. Um, concealer and make your face look blown out. Okay. Ooh. Oh no! What have I done? Ah, oh, I got so itchy and I scratched my whole fucking face. Oh, I can see where I scratched it. Oh my god. Wow, what's wrong with me? I went crazy for a second there. Okay. Anastasia Verly Hill, Counter Kit, Light to Medium. With my e.l.f. brush, this is for highlighter, but I like to use it for powder underneath your eye. I just go with the banana powder and I just like tap. I'm going with the first two shades. I don't like the shimmer under my eye.
on my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with this color in the middle, right here. And I'm just gonna apply that right here. Just right there in the corner. This is kinda to shape my face. And then I'm letting go of that brush and I'm using my favorite brush. This is from ELF. I use this for my bronzer. So with my bronzer, I like to go like this. I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronzer. And right there. I just won't. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so this is the Anastasia Real Heels Brow Gel. I'm just gonna go in with it just a little bit. Girl, Trublin Soft Blush High Pigment Blush, and it's in shade Hot Frenzy. It's like very bright, like orange red. So I'm gonna tap a couple of times, then tap on the cheek, tap on the cheek, tap, tap. I feel like this way I'm getting like the same um, pigmentation to both sides. Let's go back under the eyes. So for this, um, oh maybe you will use executioner, 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 whatever that is called. Okay, I like that. And then we're gonna go in with the ELF retractable liner and we're gonna do the waterline. I'm gonna go back with the executioner and I'm gonna go right where the lash line is just so I can marry up the liner and the eyeshadow together with one of the blending brushes we used earlier I'm gonna go with deviant and I'm just gonna go right here right where the black is like that and then with that same flat brush we just use if I can find it I just had it oh, this one. I was planning on doing a cut crease but shit happens we're gonna go with beauty sleep
Boom. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna need a highlighter. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, highlighter. We're gonna go in with lavender snow. But I'm gonna go just very lightly. The way it's just like barely showing. It's more like still highlighter, but not like purple, you know? Ooh, bitch. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in with this lip liner from Nits Cosmetics. It's uh, called Alien. It's a black lip liner. Call me Chola, cause I'm Chola. And we're gonna go with the Velvet Trap and Pure Hell. I have these one pair of lashes that I really, really like. No, 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 I just dropped a lash. Oh, funny. They call me dramatic. Dramatic. These are just my natural lashes, I'm trying to curl them. For a second, I thought I hadn't been recording this whole time. So, we're gonna go in with Lash Frag from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, I'm using my travel one. I do have a full one, I just wanna get rid of this one. But I don't wanna waste just product and just throw it away, you know? Where are the tweezers? I just fucking had them. They were like right here. Well, that's actually not that bad. I have to start putting my lashes somewhere where they can stay bended. That's where I have that hardest time with that they start getting like, you know, like this flat, and that's why I struggle with keeping them down because they just like go back to being like flat. Um, what am I doing? I have a moment. 
Where are the tweezers? I had him right here. I fucking did. I know I did. My guitar. There you go. I found him. Duh. Okay. Let's go with. Oh my god. I was about to open the super glue. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that has to be far away from here. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys like this. Uh, I like it. I really like the foundation. I just feel like it's not that much coverage, although it says it's full coverage. I love these lashes. Uh, of course, I love this eyeshadow palette. Um, the lipstick, I'm not too sure about. It's supposed to be pure hell, but it kind of like wears off into like this grayish, grayish tone. Yeah, I'm not too happy about the lipstick. But anything else, just ask. I will leave um, everything I use down in the description. Go ahead and, if you like this, subscribe, like, and comment something. Ask me whatever you want. I'm still learning. But if I can help you, let me know. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Love you. Bye. So, I did my makeup. And I start editing the makeup video. And then... The software I was using just totally erased the whole video. But I decided that while the new software is downloading, um, I might as well do a, a makeup removing video. So here we are. Hi. Okay, guys, so we're gonna be removing this. Look at that shit. Look at that oiliness. I mean, it's oily, but my skin looks good, though. Normally, my forehead always creases. But look, it's not even creased. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to wet my face, and then we're going to go in with the CeraVe um, Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin. I think I have normal skin. It's oily, but not that oily, so it's not that bad. And we're gonna do this. I like to do it with warm water just because I don't like cold water. But cold water is just better for your skin overall. Here, oh, my hands get so oily. Yum. <laughs> Why did you say yum? I'm sorry. So that's basically like once, but I'm gonna do it again so I can get in the crevices of my face, under the eyes, I probably will do the eyes too. This is very gentle, so that's why I do it on my eyes. Wow, I feel like I already cleansed and look at all that that still was there.
I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow base and look at that. That's still there. Bitch. And Neutrogen is not the best for your skin, but this one I like to use it when the makeup is not coming off so easily or when I like to go really deep on it. My skin can take a lot, so that's why I like to use Neutrogen product just because I feel like they're very rough for sensitive skin, but for me they work. Okay, and with a towel, I'm gonna tap dry my skin. You don't want to rub your skin. Ta da! We talked about how CeraVe can be, uh, Neutrogena can be really rough on your skin. What I like to do to kind of like compensate a little bit, I go with this CeraVe uh, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I just apply that on my face. And with this one I like to, you know, be really generous. And the other makeup I still have on my eyes, I'm gonna remove it with a pad and some makeup remover and I'll show you right now. Okay, so this has always been one of my favorites. This is the Garnier, 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 Garnier. <sighs> this is from this brand. If you know, you know, it's some micellar uh, water and it's just cleansing. I use it for my eyes. And I dump in the middle and I fold everything else in and I just press it a little bit. That way everything is damp. I like to go like in zigzagging motions so I can get the mascara for my uh, lashes. And I was using pigment, is that why it's staying? It's no surprise, I'm used to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I have an eye cream somewhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. But yeah, that's it guys.